With over 8 million followers worldwide on social media, Doug the Pug is one of the world's most famous and followed dogs, whether it's social media, book tours, or television appearances. Doug is pretty much always in the limelight. But behind the cameras, Doug was enduring a medical crisis of his own. This is Doug the Pug. He is the world's most famous pug. Doug the Pug has almost 9 million followers across all of his social media. Lots of celebrity friends, a New York Times bestselling book. We just hit over 1 billion views on Facebook with his videos. He's a very accomplished little pug. And he loves to sleep in interviews. Hey, wake up. I got him from a really reputable breeder around Nashville. and. <laughs> And yeah, <laughs> he's been snoring ever since. The first video that we made, we posted it and overnight we woke up and it had like 20 million views. When that video hit, we were kind of like, all right, let's do this. So this is how we get the classic Doug the Pug selfie shot. Everything with Doug was going super, super well. He was very, very healthy. But Doug had been having a lot of itching problems and I had given him a pill that a vet had given me to help with his itching. But the next day, we noticed bright red spots on his stomach. We decided to take him to the vet. She said his platelets were so low that it was life-threatening. I was hysterical. The vet had diagnosed Doug with ITP, which is an autoimmune disease. The vet prescribed Doug steroids, antibiotics. <laughs> Doug was just, it completely changed. He would just go off on his own and just sleep on the floor. And, there were a lot of side effects. There was a lot of yeah. side effects. So we were like, okay, this is a long road ahead of us. You know, we canceled a bunch of appearances. We didn't make him work at all. My gut was just telling me that something wasn't right, that we needed to get another opinion. In the end, it all came down to that one pill. It caused a reaction and his platelets dropped severely. And as soon as we started weaning him off of the medication, he that turned right back to normal. Doug would have been on medication for the rest of his life if we didn't trust our gut. So it's super important to be your own advocate and get that second opinion. Doug is doing so well. He's better than ever, healthier than ever. We're very thankful that he made a complete recovery. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Grumpy. Oh, the